In this question, we have a piece of string which is 0.45 meters long, rotating in a vertical circle with a mass of 0.5 kilograms, doing 120 revs a minute, and we want to find the tension in the string when it's at the bottom. So the first thing to consider would be the centripetal force towards the center, which is going to be part of the tension of the string. And for that, we'll use the formula centripetal force mv squared over r. But we need to get the velocity, and the velocity can be worked out by just doing distance over time for one rotation. So that's 2 pi r over the period. If you do that, you get 2 pi times 0.45, and the period is half. It's half a second to do one revolution. And this gives us a velocity equal to 5.65 meters per second. We can now substitute that back into the centripetal force formula. 0.5 for the mass times 5.65 squared for the velocity over the radius of 0.45 meters. And when you calculate that, you get 35.5 which we could call 36, the two significant figures, Newtons. It's at this point that some students will optimistically jump up and down with joy because they notice 36 is one of the answers, but it isn't the correct one. This is because you have forgotten to take account of the tension in the string that's caused by the weight of the bob. Imagine for a moment that the bob is stationary in the bottom position, naturally enough. The tension in the string will be caused by the weight of the bob going downwards, which of course is going to be equal to the tension upwards in the string, which is what we want. So the weight is going to be 0 0.5 times 9.81, which will be equal to 4.91 newtons. This means that the total upward tension in the string is going to be equal to the sum of the centripetal force plus the weight. And this is equal to 35.5 plus 4.91, which comes out as 40.4, which is basically 40 newtons to two significant figures. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer. Need help with a difficult A-level physics problem? Get in touch, maybe I can help you out. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.